Hi there, I'm Mitch Randall, Technical Manager for KB UK, and uh, I've put together this um, short video for you to um, demonstrate a couple of key um, uh, functions in the uh, Commodore 6 software that I think you're going to um, like and find very useful for monitoring the performance of your um, inverters that are connected um, to the software package via the um, serial communications. So the first thing I want to show you is the um, scope function and the scope function is um, is very good for um, doing live monitoring of um, things like um, current speed feedback, uh, drive status and things like that. So to show the um, scope um, function on the Commodore 6 software, uh, we've basically taken our F6 drive, we've connected it via um, the serial connection of the DIN 66619 and uh, we have the project up and running on the uh, Commodore software here. So to um, get the scope to work, there's a little button up here, which has a, a few um, scope plots on it. So open the uh, Commodore scope yeah, by clicking this button. And then it asks you for a uh, name for the scope plot. So for this, I'll do a, a test scope and then just press the add button yeah, and it will place the um, test scope in the uh, navigation um, part here on the software but it will also open up this um, scope window yeah. so having this um, scope window open we can now start to um, add some parameters that we want to monitor using this um, scope function so I'm going to show you quickly how to add a couple of um, key parameters yeah, so we take the the S6 node here, and uh, we'll look at the IE parameters. We'll select the first one, which is very useful, the encoder speed. So we'll click on that. Keep um, keep your mouse um, on holding it, and then drag it over to the um, tab for the um, the scope and. There's another little sub tab down here that's called new channel. Just hover over that and release and it will add the, the parameter information. So the drive reference, device type, anything, but also the parameter details down here. So the next thing to do is just add the channel to the scope uh, here and the other key thing is scaling. Yeah. So the 100% or maximum speed that you're expecting to see from the um, encoder in this um, case, the parameters, the uh, encoder feedback, uh, don't really want to go above 1000 RPM. So I will just put 1100 in there, just to give us a bit of room. And and that's the, um, the scaling carried out for us for this particular um, channel on the scope. Now we'll go back to the, um, to the drive node and back to the IU parameters again. We'll select another couple of parameters. So it's always quite useful to be able to um, see the um, apparent current. So we'll take the apparent current, we'll go to the test scope and over to the new channel, hover over that, let go, add the channel and because we've got quite a small um, drive we'll just do the scaling down here and we'll make it maybe um, 2 amps for the uh, maximum scaling. It's not going to be uh, much more than that because it's not particularly loaded the motor and that's the second channel added we'll go back again and we will add another um, one and the other one I'm going to add is this one the uh, effective motor load which is this IU57 here it's, again it's a useful parameter to, to monitor more performance so we'll 
go to the scope, test scope tab, hover over the new, new um, channel, let go, then click the add button. Now because this is a percentage of the load on the motor, it would be probably useful to um, make the 100% um, maximum scaling 10% um, on there because it's quite difficult to um, to load these motors. So I'll just do that and uh, we're now ready to go. So now we've added a few channels to the um, scope. Yeah. The next thing to do is to uh, start recording, start recording a um, scope plot. So the way to do that is to go over to the display tab under the scope here. And if there's two ways of doing this, you can either go um, F9 to start and F9 to stop the scope from um, running, or you can use the mouse and you can just right click and go start scope. So we'll start the scope running. And now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stop the drive um, running by this HMI here. So we can see some live data being recorded. And then I'll change the speed down a little bit. So we we'll go down to 150, go enter, watch it go down. And you can see the scope's recording nicely. We'll take it back up to 250, enter, and shoot to go up. And then we'll go stop. If we now stop the scope from um, plotting, we have basically got some data now. We can click on this auto button here and we have our scope trace that we can um, analyze in a bit more detail. And if you want to hover over a few areas, you'll get a sense of the, the load that's been used. You can see the the red um, trace here is IE9, which is the encoder speed. The blue line down here is the apparent current. So that's the output current from the um, drive to the motor. And the green one here is the effective uh, motor load. So the faster it's going, it's taking about 9.8% of the load and drop down to 5.1%. Uh, if you want to, you can go ahead and you can add some cursors. So you do a vertical one here and you can then uh, drag this to different areas on the scope and you can see what different values you're getting at this particular point here. So for instance, we have 5.2% uh, um, effective load. We've got a speed of 149 RPM and we have 0 0.06 of an amp current. So that's just a quick um, demonstration of um, capturing some um, live data from a running drive um, and then being able to analyze it um, to see how well it's um, performing. So uh, I hope you found that um, useful. There's, um, there's another feature I'd like to um, show you that works in conjunction with this, which is also another um, useful tool for uh, monitoring what's going on on the drives. And it's called the um, cockpit um, function. So I'm going to leave the scope set up like it is here. But if we go over to the um, the drive load here, we right click, we can go down to add an object down here on the list and then you'll see this um, parameter cockpit um, tab here, we'll click on that and this um, add a parameter cockpit is asking for a name, so we'll give it a name, test 
run and then we'll add it and now you'll see we get these boxes down here and these all these boxes are empty but what you can do now you've got these um, this parameter cockpit down here is you can go back to your RU parameters for instance or key parameters that you want to look at and we can take so for instance the active current so let's go with the active current we yeah. click it and drag it down here let go and we just added this parameter um, to the first um, box on this uh, parameter cockpit bottom here and if we do the same thing again i quite like the um, efficiency um, motor efficiency one that shows how hard the uh, motor is running or how hard it's working so we'll take this ie57 and we'll put this um, down on the next one here uh, i won't bother filling in the others for the time being um, and um, i'll go back to the scope and what i'll do now to show you a live um, how useful this can be is if we start the scope running as we did before what i do is i'll now start the motor turning and um, you can see the loads now picking up it must be around about six percent on the scope we've got a live um, value in the parameter cockpit down here and we've also got an idea of the active current now what I'm going to do is because we've got this motor load I'm going to just grab hold of it and see if I can put some extra load on it and as you see we can put some load on and then we can drop it down again and hopefully you will see the values changing live as I grab the motor shaft here to demonstrate the increased loading on the motor shaft so I'll just stop that again and take the scope here and I'll stop the scope from running I hit this auto button here and you can see the nice scope trace well I hope this um, you found this interesting the benefits of um, using a um, oscilloscope are it's fairly obvious you can get a live um, live feed and be able to see any problems that might be occurring or even help you with the tuning and um, and optimizing the drive performance the small um, parameter cockpit is very useful because it gives you a, a place to dock a particular drive parameter that you're interested in monitoring whilst the um, machine's running so once again um, I hope this was um, useful as an insight on how to um, use the software.